Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for January the 7th of 2020, well, it is titled IC405, the Flaming Star Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example, not just of one kind of nebula, but actually two different types of nebulae that are shown here. And it is known as the Flaming Star Nebula because we have the bright star there, which looks a little bit purple in this image. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And it has the great flames, the great reddish orange flames around it. Now, the two different nebulae are formed by this one star, and the star is uh, known as A.E. Origae. And that is the star there that looks a little bit purple towards the center. The purple color is a mixture of a couple of colors of light. In uh, regular and true color, it would actually look blue and would be what we call a reflection nebula. And is a nebula with some dust that is reflecting the light from this very hot star. Hot stars primarily emit short wavelengths of light. That's where most of their energy comes out. And in fact, this star emits most of its light in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum. And then that light is then reflected by these dust grains. And the dust grains are better at reflecting short wavelengths, so bluer lights are reflected. So in the visible, it would look blue. Now it looks purple here because this is used as an image that looks at three different wavelengths of light and then color codes them. So the light of the various different, atom, different atoms that we're looking at are color coded with different colors. And that gives us the image that we see here. So we look at the emission of things like hydrogen and oxygen and sulfur, and then each emission of those specific elements is given a specific color to allow us to see the image. And in this case, when you get the purple color, which is combining a red and a blue, gives us that uh, reflection nebula. So that's what we have for our reflection nebula there. Now, most of it looks a very orange color, and a lot of that is due to hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas gives off a red, red light, and here color-coded more towards an orange, and that is what we see here with the orange color is hydrogen emission. The ultraviolet radiation from the star is uh, ionizing, stripping electrons off of the hydrogen atoms, and then it strips them off, and then it causes them to, then they recombine, and when they recombine, they will give off the distinct red color of hydrogen, which happens to be color-coded here in an orange color. Now, of course, the color coding can be done because some of these would look similar colors and allows us to distinguish between the various different types of elements that we see. So we can see here, and again, what is called the Flaming Star Nebula, a couple different types of nebula, the Emission Nebula and a Reflection Nebula. So that was our picture of the day for January the 7th of 2020. It was titled IC405, the Flaming Star Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxies in the River. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.